Hi all, this is Lynn with Paper Life and today I'm working on our week two of the Junking Up Challenge. You need to include a quote and make a journaling card. I do post these, per, I'm pretty good about always posting the challenges in our Facebook group, Paper Lifers. I normally post it on Instagram, I'm just not always the best about it. Again, sorry, I haven't got my camera reset up, so we're kind of upside down. I found this quote just at a Google search. My room is not messy. It is an obstacle course designed to keep me fit was the one I found. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> sorry, I was reading that upside down. I just wrote it on this, like, blue paper I got I think it was like Dollar Tree and just used a regular pen so nothing super fancy tear that off I have a idea that I'm gonna go with a torn edge around this I will be honest I haven't had I haven't really thought about a lot of this so we're going to kind of figure it out as we go. I mean, quite literally, I only have this and this cardstock that I think would look good behind it. That's as far as I've thought through any of this yet. So we're going to wing it. We're gonna wing it and see what happens. I mean, that's to me, that's how I take these challenges is that it's for us to try something new. It may work, it may not. We might decide, oh, we really like this. We might decide, well, I did it once and I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> But one of our dear friends does a quote a day and she always has them posted in the groups. And I really liked it, so I figured we would include it in our challenge this month. And then since it was inspired by her, I asked her what we should make and she said a journaling card. So that's what we're gonna attempt to make. I'm using vintage photo just to distress around my edge a little. like that looks too simple so we have I have my little scrap thing of fabric up here and material and lace let's see oh wait here's a cute little piece of ah, come here behave Kind of like that. That's kind of pretty. Let's see. There was another little piece of this fabric. I was trying to see if I could tear it. It doesn't really tear. That's pretty behind there. Let's keep this fabric out as a maybe. And I'm just kind of eyeballing in here to see if there's anything else that screams for me to use it. I'm 
reach up behind you for paperback um, books. I like them just because, well, this one's not. But usually their papers are kind of like a, already a tan color. I don't know why. At least that's what I found with some of them. All right, I'm gonna tear out a couple pages. I don't know if I'm using it or not. Put that back behind. I wasn't planning on doing any sewing on this one, but I don't know, we might get some sewing with this fabric. I don't want to cut down my backing piece yet because I don't know what size it's going to end up being. Do we like it on there square, squared up? Or do we like it off-centered? Oh, I wish I had more. I wish I had come up with some form of idea on this. So let's see. I'm going to cut a little bit of a notch so I can get my tear started. Back in my scrap area. Oh wait, I might have an idea. Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right, I have three pages of book book pages in here. I'm gonna all three basically at the same time if I can. We're going to see how well this works. I'm just trying to tear off most of the white around the edge because it looked like it was about that the side of that fabric when I did that. Okay. Let's see. So it's a little bit bigger. That's okay. I kind of wanted that. Here, instead of there. Get rid of that. Keep all my papers together. Put that there. So if I tear it right about there, it looks like it's still just a little bit bigger than my fabric. All right, put that to the side. I'm kind of thinking, you know, a friend of mine, Jeannie, had done something like this before. And then, no, I don't work. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, I got it all set up. No, I don't like that. Yeah, if you guys can tell, I'm not one of those people that have the amazing ability to be able to not even think about it, just put stuff together and it works. Okay, I think that adds interest to the back. So, at least for right now, I'm thinking that might be what I go with. But I'm going to distress around these book pages. And tell you what, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to come back as soon as I'm done distressing. Okay, so I was going to use 
my vintage photo, but I went with the walnut stain just because it gives a little bit darker, grungier, richer color. I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought maybe I would crumble it up so that the pages weren't sitting super flat. We'll see. This might be a really bad idea, but one way to find out, right? So I'm not doing anything special, just crumbling the pages in my hand. I did put a little bit of distressing around the back just because I'm not 100% positive that it wouldn't show. Alright, let's see. second let me put these inks back up kind of thinking let's see what I have in here Kind of thinking maybe I could put like some fabric behind on one of these book pages somewhere to have it just kind of peeking out. I don't know if I am not loving the idea or I'm not loving the color that I've grabbed. Let me see. I'm going to grab a different color, see if that helps anything. That is one thing I like about doing the lives with you guys in the group. If it's when I'm not sure or something, you can quite literally answer me. You guys will be like, no, that's a horrible idea. Don't do that. I'm like, okay, well, fine. Be like that. See if I care. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't completely given up on the idea of adding in some lace. However, I don't know if I'm loving it either. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, because I just want this to be kind of a temporary hold, just long enough for me to really figure out what we're doing here. I'm just going to use some glue stick I don't really care if my flowers are going the wrong way because you can't really make it out other than the colors behind it. And one second, I gotta flip this so I can see it now. So that looks kind of cool. I do, however, think I need some stitching. I thought I was gonna be able to do it without stitching, but I'm not gonna be able to. And I'm back to this debate again. Okay, I'm over that debate again because I just, I'm not caring for it. Okay, so. Because I am going to use, I am going to run this through my sewing machine.